Okay, so, um, man, I, I hope that didn't melt. I've got something weird going on on my GoPro screen. Huh, I'll have to check that out. Um, I prepped two signs. I really wish I could have had time to prep four, but I got a late start. I've got to get out of here and get to the next appointments. Um, we got to go do some grout on the house that we would have done the grout on yesterday, but the tornado threat was too high. I feel comfortable leaving my family. Let me put you on the car setup. Okay, I have you on the car. I don't know if 177 southbound is open. Um, I just prepped two signs. I wish I could have prepped four. I've got this little driver with me because I need to get some white or green screws for the new signs. And they need to be 5 8 But I brought this too, just in case. And I don't know if 177 is open or not. So I may be driving south for nothing. I've got to charge the GoPro. I've got the tools I need in the back. I've got to go to Home Depot, get the grout to take care of this appraisal condition. And I got I, I started way later than I was planning on. It's already 1.30. I've got a 5.30 showing for one of our investors, which is great. I want to get more deals in our escrow. I want to make sure our team has plenty of business going on. Uh, the team of people I work with, not a real estate team. And yeah, just want to keep moving forward. So the wife is awesome. I accidentally woke up red when I was leaving the house. I feel super bad about that. The wife was awesome. She, um, God, can't wait to get to the new house. That way I can sneak out the master bedroom because uh, it has a back door. So that's what I'm doing right now. I gotta make some more phone calls. So I will talk to you guys later. And I'm gonna pull over so I can start making those phone calls. You guys be safe, be weather aware. And I will talk to you when I probably get to the house to do the repair. Okay, have a good day, bye. Okay, so the family and I went to Walmart yesterday and I was looking for something like this. See, it specifically says mortar fix. But um, but Walmart didn't have this. So I went to Home Depot. They had it. Now I'm going to go to the property and fix the appraisal requirement. Take a picture, text it to the appraiser, and uh, then hopefully still close this one on time. <sighs> That's the goal. And would have done this yesterday if the weather had been good, but the weather wasn't good. So, um, it is what it is. All right, I'll see you guys at the property and I'll show you the repair job when I'm done, but I'll show you the before too. All right, talk to you guys soon. Do you know much about that property down there? I know it's off Peebly Road and 149th or Stella and uh, it's a uh, it's west a half mile and right across the street from 144th, but um, I've never walked it. I can't, I've never walked the property. Okay, do you, I, well I guess her husband and whoever it is owns that property, right? Yeah, her parent, her in-laws, her in-laws own it. Her in-laws, okay. Well she, she told me, do you know what they said that they were willing to do to the property to make it more enticing? Because I, I know she said something about a bridge and a home pad and stuff like that, but she also told me that uh, she was waiting to see if we wanted to put the, the road in a, in a different spot than what it's at. I just didn't know if you knew all those details about it. It's just all depending on, uh, on the offer. She said everything is dependent on the offer. You know, full price offer, they're willing to do more work, but uh, but if it's not a full price offer, they're not going to be wanting to do any work. Yeah. Well, that's what I kind of want to sit down and talk to them about is, okay, where, where are we at on things? Where are you guys at on? What can you do? I mean, because it's going to, it's, I mean, 
mean, there ain't no way ever way around it, but it's going to need a bridge <laughs> to get onto the the biggest part of the best part of the property, and uh, that's that's a pretty extensive little cost there, from what I understand. And uh, but I, I I do I I would like to sit down and, and uh, go over some details with them. Um, I don't know if they want to do it over the phone or sit down in person uh, or, or what they want to do. But uh, I've got quite a few questions here I've written down that I'd like to touch bases with them on and uh, just kind of, you know, see what we can get accomplished. Well, just email them to me and I'll forward them on to them. And, of course, they've got your contact number <laughs> so they can give you a call if it's something that they think is worthwhile. Um, I I don't know what a bridge costs, but I don't think they're cheap. What what's the cost of a bridge? Well, I don't know. They said they already got uh, the uh, the cement tin horn. It's, it's not tin horn if it's made out of cement, but they've all they, they said they've already got a tin horn ordered. But they said they would wait if I didn't think that the road that was there would be sufficient enough for. For the for where they want to put it because it, it it gets kind of really muddy right down in that area and I found another spot that might be more feasible to put it in but they said they've already got a tin horn ordered for it but they said that they would wait uh, to see if we were serious before they actually put it in sure sure are you guys buying with cash or using a loan Uh, email me what you got. I'll send it over to them, and I'm sure they'll give you a call in a couple days. Okay. And what's your email? Josh at marketing405.com. Does this phone number get text messages? Yeah. Yeah, just send me a... Yeah, that'd be easier. Yeah, okay. Just send me a text. Yes. That's what I'll do right now. Yes, sir. All right, Josh. I'll, I'll get these uh, sent over to you, and we'll go from there, bud. Awesome. Yeah, I'll have one of the family members give you a call so you guys can iron out those details. All right, thanks for calling me back. Yes, sir. Okay, so this is what the appraisal condition is. See that little bitty crack there? So I've got to fill that in with caulk. And I brought a wire brush for my uh, 45 degree angle drill attachment. And I'm going to use the wire brush to try and knock that out. And hopefully it gets knocked out real easy with that wire brush. All right. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so I've knocked out most of the putty. And this is pretty hardcore putty to get out. So I've knocked out most of the putty and now I'm gonna put the grout in there and level it out as best as I can. So uh, let's get to work on that. Okay, I'm halfway done. I'm going to do one more coat. This stuff is super, super sticky. So I'm going to do one more coat and spread it out real well. I had to go get a rag out of my car. But I'm going to do one more coat, spread it out real well, and then uh, take pictures and send it to the appraiser. All right, I'll show you the finished product. Okay, I just texted the appraiser uh, pictures of what was used and the job so uh, hopefully they'll come over sign off on it and we can get to the next step and close this weekend i'm gonna put my tools up put the screen up and get out of here i've got a showing at 5 30 in northwest Oklahoma, uh, edmond so i'll talk to you guys soon okay um why do i say um i've got to quit saying um i returned the supplies i did not use at Home Depot, I purchased too much, and I got $21 back. That's awesome, because that'll buy some dinner tonight. Whenever I have to work late, I try to bring dinner home, 
if the missus lets me. She doesn't like me eating out all the time. But I try to bring it home because I know she's busy. And she doesn't have time to make dinner. Watching two kids. Oh my goodness. Edmund traffic. Um, so yeah. I'm going to go to the office. Print off the MLS sheet. I print off the disclosures for this property. But I didn't print off the MLS sheet. Don't ask me why. I don't. I thought I did. I even pulled it up. I just didn't hit print. So, I'm gonna go to the office, grab two signs and a check from the office, and yeah, that's it. Then I've got the 5:30 on the other side of town. So I'll show up at the office, print the MLS sheet, pick up the signs, pick up the check jump back in the car and then go to the other side of town real quick. I've got time to do all this. I do. Coming up on 33rd, I'll go that way. I text the pictures of the repair job to the appraiser and the appraiser said let the lender know. So I forwarded the pictures of the repair job to the buyer's agent and I said repair complete. I sent this to the appraiser. The appraiser said let the lender know and I also put buyer to verify like I don't want any responsibility for that the buyer can verify it uh, before they order the reinspect that's on them that's a buyer inspection so now I'm gonna go east on 33rd get to the office get that stuff and then go to the showing and then get some dinner and go home all right guys I'll talk to you soon Okay, I finally got out of the office. Oh, man, I gotta get to the northwest side of Edmond in 40 minutes. Plug it into the GPS so I don't go the wrong way. Oh good, my GPS is staying only 20 minutes. So, I'll be able to make it. I've got to return that phone call. So, I'm going to do that right now. I'll talk to you guys soon. Oh, no. What was that like? All right. Just arrived at the showing. Um, I'm two minutes early. So, I'm going to turn everything on. And, uh. Get it show ready. It's windy out. All right, let's fire up the old uh, Supra. Have you guys seen this before? Here. <clears throat> I think I've shown this to you guys before. So, Supra, E key, and then you push the bottom of the box over here like that. And see how it's blinking now? Then you click the key button, type in your code, and then it starts communicating. You gotta make sure the location setting is on though. And then it says, success, open the key box. So, go over here, open the key box, and you've got the key. Put it in the door, and open it. All right, I've been working on that appraisal repair, so I'm gonna take my shoes off. Uh, and let's go get this set up. Okay. So I'm gonna leave the front door open. That way they can come right in. Oh, wow. The uh, smoke detector needs a battery. Oh, man, all the blinds are closed. I hate it when that happens, because you need sunlight when you're showing your house, you want sunlight because sunlight is nice. There we go. Get some nice sunlight in there. <clears throat> Look at that cool little nook right there. You can sit down, take your shoes off, hang your coat up. That's pretty cool. Over here, looks like the master. There's the switch. Okay, there's the switch. Let's crack this window some. Sunlight. Watch this room. Watch how different this room changes when I get the sunlight. 
Look at that. Doesn't that just look beautiful? <clears throat> oh, let's get these lights in here. Okay. Get the closet lights. Closet lights on. All right. Let's go get the living room lights. You guys have seen this one before. I showed it about a month ago. Um, why do they have all the blinds closed? We need those blinds open. Natural light. Natural light. Natural light. Look how much better that looks with all those blinds open. That looks great. I need to get that light and these lights. That looks so much better with all the natural light on. Okay. I bet that light switch right there has those lights. Has that one. I'll worry about the pendants later. Oh man. Nice little fireplace. Oh wow. Bathroom. Bathroom. Okay. Single vanity. Light. Now watch this room. See? Closed. Watch this room light up. Natural light. See how much different it looks with the natural light? See? Dark room. Here, let's just do the natural light. Look how much better it looks with just the window. That's just the window. Dark room. Light. Natural light. All right. Okay, thanks for uh, helping me prep that property. I'm gonna turn you guys off, wait for the customer, uh, try to take care of a couple emails real quick, and things of that nature. I might use the restroom too real quick. So I will see you on the way home.